So you get back to work and that's y'all working on. We can't be stopped. Now when yeah. y'all did when y'all recorded Mind Playing Tricks, did y'all know that shit was jamming like that or it was just another record? It was just another record to me. Cause all the records are just another record to me. Yeah. I treat records like children. All of them are important. Yeah. So I, I put the same amount of energy in every single song. Yeah. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. If I hear a song after it's done, if I'm in the studio listening, I hear something else, go back in, let's add this. Yeah. Let's take this away. Yeah. Usually we're adding, not taking away. Cause usually the song is just jamming and we trying to just, just make it better, trying to go in and put that little extra sauce on it. Yeah. Yeah. So so what what's okay. Y'all go and uh this album cover, man. Y'all shot the album cover after the record was out, right? Or, or did the, the Mind Playing Tricks come out first and then y'all y'all shot the we cover finished for the, the whole, We finished recording the record, the album. Yeah. And then Bill gets involved in the accident. Yeah. Shoots himself in the eye, whatever. We get to the hospital. What are you thinking when you hit when you get this call? Like, yeah, but Bill just shot himself in the eye. We got to go. See, I'm being from the hood. I just always had the. Res- I just grew up like with the mentality like anything could happen. Yeah. And so I never know. Also, just just being an adult, just being the type of person I am, I just I look at life like bad stuff is going to happen. It, like I don't look at life like when I wake up I don't think like oh it's supposed to be all good yeah I be thinking like I'm not a pessimist but I know that bad stuff will happen and so I expect bad things to happen yeah so when it do I don't panic yeah that's how I get through it yeah I just don't panic when bad stuff happen I'm like I'm on some like okay it happened okay what are we gonna do to get through you this already planned how the we worst gonna, case scenario how are we gonna fix it yeah, how are we gonna fix mm-hmm. it? You know, like uh, the only the only time I really get irritated when bad stuff happen is when my you know my cars get like damaged when somebody rent my cars and they get damaged. Yeah, because I I own a luxury car rental business. Okay, what's what's the, what's the let's plug the business certified really quick. certified certified luxury autos. Yeah, so. They always messing my damn wheels up and stuff, man. Like, and that's tedious. Yeah. You know, like it pissed me off. Yeah. Cause it's tedious. Yeah. It don't cost a lot of money to fix the wheel, but it's just, oh damn, here we go here again. We go again. Cause I like my cars to be fresh. Yeah. Like I like it to be showroom fresh. Yeah. So I don't have like little scratches and scrapes on my wheels. Yeah. Nothing I drive got scratches on it. If I get a scratch, it's going right. I'm going to get it taken care of. Yeah. So that kind of little stuff right there be irritating the hell out of me, man. But but yeah, but life shit you but just kind of expect. Just regular life stuff, man. I just expect things, bad things to happen. Yeah. And and uh, so when it does, uh, it's easier for me to cope with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when Bill got shot, my first, the first thing was, oh, you know, was he all right? Because I know a lot of people that been that got shot and some died, some didn't. Yeah. So it's like, okay, is he okay? Yeah. We don't know, so we go to the hospital. We get there. Bill laying out on the gurney. And I walk in. The first thing Bill says, well, I I made her do it. Please don't hurt her. It's not her fault. <laughs> you know, so... He was like, yeah, you know, it's not our fault, right? Yeah. Back then, I was a cowboy, so I was like, everything. You're gonna ride. Was, yeah. It was always, man, I was just one one, one gear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he said that, I was like, okay. But he's coherent. He's sedated, but he's coherent. So we go back down to the lobby, and Cliff, who was the co-owner of Rap A Lot at the time, Cliff Blige just said, we got to do, what we going to do about the album cover? Because the video, I mean, we, was, we was moving fast around. We always move real fast with records. Yeah. Like, not rushing, but we just don't take us long to get things done. Yeah. So we had finished the album. So Cliff was like, what we going to do about the album cover? 
And I say, what you mean? He said, well, you know, the album is finished. What are we going to do about the cover? I say, well, Bill alive. Yeah. I say, let's shoot it. So he was like, well, here? I say, yeah. Well, he said, well, who's going to ask him? I said, I'll ask him. Hmm. I went upstairs. Bill. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> can't even say this shit with a straight face now. <laughs> I say, Bill, look here, man. We got to shoot this album cover. You down. And Bill said, yeah. That was all you needed. I went back and told him what yeah. was up. Yeah. Cliff went to his car, got one of them regular cameras. We came back up. If you look at that cover, that cover ain't no sharp cover. Yeah. That, that ain't no sharp picture. Ain't no sharp image, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was just a, yeah that's just a regular camera. Yeah. He came back up. We 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 got we asked the, uh, the nurse to give us a gurney. She put Bill on a gurney. And Chief put, a, put the phone in Bill's hand. That was Chief's idea to give him the phone, put the phone in his hand. Chief was our road manager. Wow. And we came down. The uh, the hallway, rolling them down the hallway, and, and Cliff started snapping pictures. And y'all now, told him to pull the patch down. I can't remember there. whose idea was that for him to pull the patch off. I could never. So this, that's this is my introduction to the ghetto boys. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. got an older sister. I talk about this on the podcast. My older sister graduated high school in '88. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just giving you an age. Yeah. So I'm like when y'all when when my playing trees come out, I'm probably like six or seven. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, my sister played that shit, and I just remember hearing it like, man, this is this is wild. But she sh- she had the tape in the car, you know what I'm saying? I could never look at the cover, cause I just the eye shit, you know what I'm saying? As a kid, but, like I could never but, look but at. I'm gonna that. tell you what part of that song you knew. Huh? I, I wasn't even that, but I'm gonna tell you what you knew. Dun 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 dun. dun, Facts. dun, dun. Facts. You know how I know you knew that, huh. cause we went to a park, and we went to Tuffley Park one day to do a, uh, what was it? It was some type of uh, an interview yeah. for one of the, the networks. And the little kids were out there singing the song. Yeah. The song was on, and when the hook came on, all the little kids were like, dun, 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 dun. dun. Yeah. And these little little kids, five, four, six, seven, eight years old. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that, yeah, that, I mean, that part stood out, but I, and then I remember just like little pieces of verses, like the, I remember my sister explaining to me like what Fifth Ward Bees was and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like breaking that down, and I remember, of course, I make big money, pieces of Scarface's my, verses. My shit. Was, uh, uh, he thought he had Kane. But it was but gold, it was gold metal flower. flower. That shit stuck with me because when I was young, it's like I didn't understand it, but I knew the finesse had been played. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I, I didn't. I was might have been the same age as Dunn, so I'm like, okay, I don't know what the cane is. Whatever the cane is, and he got gold it ain't what the nigga thought it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it ain't what the thought it was. And then when I got older, I'm like, okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 He said the finesse had been played. I didn't understand it, but I knew. But when he said, but, put that conjunction in there. Like, oh, yeah. Nah, that, that verse is legendary, man. Like, what, what was the vibe when y'all was doing that? Like, to say, I make big money, I drive big cars. Did you know that shit was going to be what it was? Like, not like I say, when I first heard the song, I just thought it was another song. Another song. I thought it was a good song. I just thought it was a good song. I mean, that's the same song it had I'm Not a Gentleman. I mean, yeah. that thing had, it had, uh, I think it was. Quickie was on there. Uh, we had uh, Trophy was on there. Uh, what else was on? Oh, uh, I'm not with being broke. Yeah. I ain't with being broke was on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, uh, it was some joints on there. So, but, so I, I just thought it was another good song. But what we do, we 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 always go by majority rules. So we would let groups of people come in and listen to the record, hmm. and. Most of the time, when people you ask them what which one you like, they they were like, "I like the whole album." Yeah. Yeah, but if you had to pick one, which would it be? That was and the one. They kept coming back to mind playing tricks. Yeah. So that's the first one we put out, and once that Joker went out there, it was a wrap. That was a wrap. Be- before they even had before they even the marketing campaign started on it, they, they was behind the eight ball because the the record. Uh, the radio stations just started playing it. It was going crazy on the radio. Yeah, they just started playing it, man. And they just once they started playing it, 
It, it ain't like it went into no mix. It went straight to the top. Yeah, yeah. And it ran it for like six months. Yeah. So, so I mean, man, I mean, that was so big. Y'all had Fat Five Freddy out here. Yo, MTV came out the Fifth Ward and shit. Like, yeah. I mean, y'all in the game now for real. You know what I'm saying? How you feel at at, at this point? And, and and tell me what you're doing because I know you're getting the bread now. What 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 you, you buying whips? You know what I'm saying? What you what? How's your life changing around this time? Uh, at this point, I am more so just stacking chips and doing investments and, yeah. and trying to look out for people that I, that I felt like uh, deserved a chance. Hmm. You know, so I'm buying people their first cars, giving people money for their first homes. Yeah. I'm trying to help as many people as I can because I feel guilty that I'm the only one who got money. No shit. Yeah, I felt guilty. Uh, I wish I hadn't, but uh, yeah. back then I felt guilty. I did not really understand it. When you come from where I come from and nobody, where nobody has anything, then you get something, you want everybody to win. You want everybody mm-hmm. to come up. But you don't understand that that you have to, that that money, you have to make money work for you. And if, if, you, and if you're taking money and dispersing and just giving it, giving all your money to people and you haven't put a plan in place for your money to work for you, then you can find yourself right back there with the same people that you was trying to help out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I see dudes do it, I make that mistake all the time. MC Hammer made a $30 million mistake. Mm-hmm. Doing I was that. just thinking about yeah. that when you said it. You don't have enough money to help everybody. Yeah. You just cannot help everybody. And also everybody is not deserving. Yeah. Some of those people I loan money to actually loan money to, and I ain't seen a cent. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> damn, you dropped. You, you went solo after that, though, right? I went solo after the yeah after the uh, we can't, can't be stopped. stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, cause I mean, you always wanted to be a solo act. Yeah. Even after even the, even with the success of the Ghetto Boys, you still was like, man, I want to I want to be solo. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Stuck to the plan. Yeah. 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 Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, shit. At that point you doing you doing music, but I mean, is this is that when the boxing with the Melly Mel thing? Was that around that time too? That was ninety four. Okay. That was ninety two, I meant. That was ninety two. That happened in nineteen ninety two. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you not yeah, that shit on YouTube. Y'all pull it up, man. Willie D uh gave it to Melly Mel. Yeah, yeah man. put on for the city. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah, yeah, already. All right, so you come back to the ghetto boys, you know what I'm saying? Um and that's the is that the world is the ghetto album? What's the name of that album? Uh what's the world is the ghetto album? Shit. Resurrection. Resurrection. Yeah, I come back on the resurrection. Yeah, yeah. So what was the you just wanted to get back to the group or Well When I left the group I didn't, my, my solo uh, career didn't take off like I wanted it to. Yeah. Ghetto Boys lost a half a million record sales. So me and Brad used to see each other in the studio. Brad's career is taking off, though. His solo career is taking off. Yeah. Because yeah, that's the sign with, that's the, the Big Mike album with, uh, that was before that. Now you saying that's why y'all lost a half a million. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was a good album, but I, you know, these just people had got used to a certain kind of chemistry from the Ghetto Boys. Yeah. And that's what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I think if it would have been reversed, if Big Mike would have started off with the group, and that would have been the chemistry, me coming in, they probably would have lost half a million sales. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a bad boy. Yeah, it's just people but, uh, you just know, they just the used chemistry. to what they used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think I just think it was the chemistry. Yeah, but yeah, Brad took off solo career and everything, and but the group sales were was sluggish, and so the fans were were like you know wanted me to they wanted to get it back the way it was. Yeah, and um. Jay wanted to get it back the way it was. Yeah. Brad wanted to get it back. Yeah. So me and Brad used to bump into each other at Ultimate Studios. What, what was Ultimate Studios? That was over on the, on the south side on uh, Fuquay. Okay. So 
Yeah, Richard Simpson used to run that, R.I.P. So we were bumping each other often, and then he was like, man, we need to do this, man. We need to get this back together, man. We need to put it back together, man. Put it back together. Man, let me talk to Jay, man. You know, let, let me talk to Jay about it, man. You know, man, let's, let's do it, Will. You know, yeah. like, so I was like, you know, one day I was like, you know what? You know, yeah, go ahead and speak on it, man. So Brad is the one initiated it. He got at Jay. Then we set up a meeting. I went up to uh, to the office, and uh, she, we put that water under the bridge, man, and we started that resurrection. Yeah. And when I did that resurrection, man, like, I was like, I was in a zone like no zone before. Yeah. It was like, man, I got, I got something to prove. Uh, I'm finna show everybody what time it is, you mm-hmm. know, like, so that resurrection is something special, man. Um, everybody on that resurrection was on their A game. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah man, yeah. Brad was on his A game on yeah. that resurrection, too. Yeah, yeah everybody like he was, was. He was like, man. Yeah. Production was A game. I mean, yeah. everybody, I, beginning to end, I personally think Resurrection is the most complete album we did. If I was to rate them, Hmm. I would start with the resurrection. I mean, just overall, uh, I think some other ones are, are up there, but that resurrection, yeah, 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 hell yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so I mean, shit, it'd have been so much, man. What, what, um, do you think you get the credit you deserve as MC? Oh, uh, absolutely not. I don't. Yeah. I don't get the credit. Yeah. I'm one of them dudes gotta die before before they realize, man, they gonna be like, man. Willie D was hard. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, they're gonna do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That happens sometimes, you know, like I'm just one of them dudes. I can't, shit, man, I, If I could write a script it a different way, I would. I would. I, I, it'd be cool to get those flowers while I'm here, but For sure. I, ain't, I ain't gonna get them. Yeah. You know, I've been around, I've been doing it too long. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, man, yeah. you're definitely a legend. You're one of the coldest, you appreciate know what I'm saying? It. One of the greatest, you know appreciate what I'm saying? It. I appreciate one you, the, man. You know, I pre- I really do very, appreciate very it. Very important, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Very important. But no, I, I just, I just, I just feel like, you know, like everybody, you know, that that's, you know, it's so many people, man, after they died in, their contributions start popping up, people start really realizing. And then certain people want to make sure that their legacy is secured and they start talking about it. Like, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, damn, man, why I didn't know? Kind of yeah. like what happened with Nipsey. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. People didn't really realize, a lot of people didn't even know who Nipsey was, let alone did he get the credit he deserved. Yeah. A whole lot of people didn't even know who Nipsey was until he died. Yeah, yeah. They know now. Yeah. So for me, that's always been my ultimate goal is to, to leave a an imprint to leave my mark when I die. Yeah. You know, I always say like, man, when I die, I want people overseas to feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to just be no dude that died and just my family be at the funeral crying or whatever. Yeah. I want motherfuckers to know I lived. I yeah. was here. I yeah. made a difference. Yeah. I put a dent in this thing. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you gonna know Willie D lived. Yeah, you ain't. I ain't no gonna be no regular dude who just lived and died. You know, came in this world. You know, parted, bullshit, had some babies and died. Yeah, that ain't gonna be me. Yeah, like that's why I'm not afraid to take chances. Like even with this, 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 even when I started back boxing, you know, yeah. going back in after rapping and then, yeah, then boxing. Yeah, a lot of people thought I was crazy. Like, man, you got money. You know you. You handsome. <laughs> you know what you boxing for, man? You yeah. know, like, and it was like it was some deep down inside me. It's just a spirit in my spirit, like something I wanted to do. Like, and I live my life like one of the things that I that I that I'm serious about is like when I die, if I have any regrets, I want it to be for the things that I did. Not for the things that I wanted to do, but was too afraid to do. Hmm. You know, I want to make my 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 regrets gonna be for what I did. Yeah, yeah. To I'm not gonna be the dude who who be like laying on that bed because I ain't got but one shot at this. 
So I'm not going to be laying in that bed or wherever I'm going to be laying at if I'm conscious of it. Yeah. I'm not going to be in my twilight of my career, my life, and be like, damn, I, I should have did this, I should have did Ain't no do-over. Yeah. So I'm going to be the dude that's going to do it. If I think I can do it, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what it is, I'm going to do it. If it, even if it embarrasses me, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. A, a lot of people, man. A, a lot of people would take more chances if they didn't think they would be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Like if yeah. they thought that they could just do something, and people wouldn't be like critical of them. Yeah, they would just do it. Yeah, but most people don't follow their dreams and aspirations because of what others may think of them. Yeah. I'm not gonna be that dude. 